So, you think you got bird numbers? <laughs> Don't compete with Pat Cudmore. His Idaho birds trump any we've ever seen. I have never seen anything like it. He's down! Bird coming at you! Holy cow, birds! Right there! You'll see. You'll see. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Pheasants Forever. I hate cliches. I think we started planning this trip a little over a year ago in a hotel in Las Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> sure. I never said we were in a room. <laughs> I just said we were in a hotel. <laughs> Brad Heidel's brainstorm led us to this place, Idaho's Weezer Valley at a ranch house full of Pheasants Forever members. Come sun up, the Treasure Valley chapter gets cracking. Well, y'all sell you, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go out and we're gonna have a good time today. I'm not exactly sure how this hunt's gonna go, because if we're all hunting together, it's gonna be like 15 or 20 people. I'm kinda curious to see how this works out. Come mid-December, Idaho bird hunters chase roosters. Hunters will find wild ringneck pheasants throughout Idaho, but the southern half of the state holds the best populations. This is a private ranch. Um, the Pheasants Forever guys hunt a lot. Uh, I can't tell you who owns it, but I can give you a hint of who it is. You get one guess. When that ranch was first purchased by them, it, had, it looked like a nuclear wasteland. I mean, there was no grass, there were no bushes, there was no habitat of any kind. They have systematically improved the habitat over the last three years. Today, we hope to corner at least a couple wild roosters. Look around, you can tell this is birdie stuff. We sneak up to that first area, and right away I can see bird, 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 bird. There are literally dozens of wild roosters sneaking out the end past us. God, I hate to ask the auctioneer who got the first bird. Yeah, no kidding. You think he'll talk at all? Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd, tell you, I'd tell you that I shot it clean and fair, but I don't <laughs> think I did. I, there was two shots simultaneously, and the bird dropped at the same, same time. time. So I gotta share. I gotta share it with Camille. She had a good shot on that bird as well. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Beautiful. Absolutely Wild gorgeous. Wild Idaho rooster. Yeah, native birds. You know, it actually turned out to be a pretty fun morning because guys are shooting over here and guys are shooting over there. It's not like it's just one pile of birds, but it's one rooster here, one there. Over water, I let him go. Ugh. In the last 20 minutes, we've seen two birds, so we just know they're on the move. Which is why a couple of us break away and hit a birdie looking draw. Wow, up, up and away. There they go. I can't tell what they are. Cold prime rib sandwich is back at the house. Yeah, let's go. So be it. Lunchtime on the first morning, we're headed back to the ranch. We worked hard for that bird. <laughs> Yeah, got him right by the ranch here. That's Pat. 
Pat and I have uh, known each other and been hunting with each other for about 15 years. He's our self-appointed guide, and he is a trip. I mean, just look at that hat. I don't have one of those. I'd like to have one. You've got that thing. Oh, isn't this a lovely little deal? Yeah, this is This is an old um, fishing game hat. That's great. Very <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot. And a nice way to start what will become Bird coming at you! An epic, and I mean epic, Idaho adventure. Okay, we ain't exactly smart. I'm just saying. What's his number, 403? Not available. Oh, who goes hunting and forgets the dogs? <laughs> Us. An idiot, a 66-year-old idiot. Well, now I'm not afraid to miss anymore. <laughs> Can't make fun of me. Seems our excitement over hunting Idaho birds made us a wee bit forgetful. Oh, so here comes our truck. Here comes the truck with the dogs. Yes, <laughs> I was reaching in the back when you took off. You darn it, you about ripped off. his hand off. That's Pat Cudmore, resident Idaho hunting junkie. Thank you this time. Seriously? We'll forgive everything we said about you. Consider the rest of us Pat's cronies, friends from Minnesota, out to experience oh, Southern Idaho pheasant hunting. Come on, get in there. Get them, get them. This is my life. You know, I've hunted uh, in Idaho for 50 years and uh, Hopefully I got a few more left in me. Pat's real fall passion. Hen, hen, hen. Oh, look at the roosters flying there, 400 yards in front of us. Rooster. Watch him. Oh, great. Shoot him. God, I massacred him and then you got him too, Joe. Come on, bring it here. Thank you. Good thing we've got Katie. She's a German short-haired pointer, just 11 months old, but already a NAVDA puppy winner. You can spend a lot of money on a dog and there is no guarantee until you take them out and start hunting with them. Katie is a gold mine. And we've got three hours to hunt her until dusk. So the five of us break off and we get this crazy hair and say, you know what? We're going up to the top of the mountain. Pat calls mountain hunting the ultimate oh, armed nature hike. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're hunting wild chuckers. We head up the Weezer Valley in search of chucker partridge, birds long ago introduced from Asia. Chuckers now live in North America's most treacherous places, almost exclusively in Rocky Mountain terrain. Buckwheat, these are about three times faster than a pheasant. It's a little tricky, eh? Oh, I love it. I'd rather chuck or hunt than anything. The best way in the world to get in shape. That poor man, he's like the six million dollar man. I think he's got new hips, new, new feet, new ankles, new knees, new thumbs. Seriously, he has all those new parts. And Pat still hunts. You don't see a lot of chucker hunts on TV. Because this is how they are. Like a lot of hunting, you sometimes wonder, what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm starting to get wiped out. We're not seeing much sign. And all of a sudden, Pat says, get up here. Katie, Katie, come here, come here. Find the bird. So we got to be cool. You know, when the birds start flying, it's totally worth it. So they go, chuckers, there goes a single. I can see the trail, and I'm following what I think could be fresh tracks, and then all of a sudden. Reload. It's so hard, because you never know when they're going to get up. The, they can run uphill at 100 miles an hour, and then just as you get up there, and you're slipping on a rock or you're really breathing hard, then they take off and go downhill again. Look at that, one, two, three, four. Which might be why Joe Dugan wanders off to the next hillside. And then Dugan's all the way across the valley and he's popping shots. 
Man, they're shooting all around us. And to think that this is all over Idaho and there really aren't that many people hunting these birds. Really, really an untapped resource. So just like that, we had four birds in hand. And in my book, that's a pretty good chucker hunt for an afternoon. These are both females. You know, on a male, there will be a big bump there. So, uh, but that was a female for sure, because feel how smooth her legs are. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting excited. Tonight, rest up, because tomorrow, Cudmore's got a trick up his sleeve. Quail right at you. You down. Crazy Idaho quail. On a cold Idaho morning, the pot shots come early. How's it feel to know that you're going to miss every shot? Joe? Good morning. No. <laughs> Get used to it because I don't want any pouting. I can't believe I call these guys friends. We're game planning to hunt some pretty wily ringnecks. They hear a car door shut, they're flying. So we're going to sneak up on them. We drive out there, we sneak out there. Everyone's being so quiet. We make so much noise. These guys are just freaking gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> While we're walking, we can see hundreds and hundreds of pheasant tracks, so we know they're there. We see Keith, the ranch hand, pull up, hop out of the truck with the dog, head into the end of the row, and all of a sudden, the birds explode. Rooster. Roosters, roosters, shoot them. Guys, freaking shoot. It's over. Yeah, and I mean, even if you're quiet, they uh, it seems like they have radar and they don't come by you. Can't hit anything. They're a long ways away, but should have blasted them. Epic fail. <laughs> Epic. In a span of literally 30 seconds, our plan goes to pot. It's almost like they don't want to get shot. Great job, guys. So this 10-minute hunt that goes to pot happens, and then we book down the road. We're headed like two hours down the road because he's got new secret spots. We want to go in from this end and scare him towards the lighter cover. Let's go. Round two. So we're switching it up this afternoon. We're down the road. Now we're going to hunt quail. These quail, transplanted decades ago from California, are most widely known for their curious little head plume. These birds have literally flourished in Idaho. And here's the thing, very few people hunt them. They just are so many and they're so widespread that, um, that you can hunt them just about anywhere. This is Pat's favorite quail hunting spot. Although we see tracks, we don't find birds. It's kind of the story of the last hour. The track. Bird. Bird. There's a hen. <laughs> the dogs start to get birdie. Pat says, Kind of over by those trees, there's a million quails. I, I have never seen anything like it. When these coveys of quail get up, they just explode. Want to know how fast they are? Watch this. Bird coming at you. Oh my God. Yep, got him. There's a rooster. Rooster behind you guys. And it, it, it is a control issue because you get excited when those birds get up. Really, there goes rooster. Good shot, Brad. It's just very exciting. <laughs> very exciting. Well, right at you. Well. Birds! Get down! Bird down! Wow, that was quite one. the barrage. It was quite the barrage. I got one delicious California Valley quail to show for. Half a box of shells. 
<laughs> there were a lot of birds in there. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm having fun. I'm a little scatterbrained right now. And we got guys all around you and the birds flying 360 degrees. You don't know where anyone is. It gets a little crazy, but I think we got it figured out now. See? The average person gets one coil for every seven shots. Oh, hell, I have six to go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good girl, good girl, come on. Before this day ends, we will experience quail hunting like we've never seen. Coming at ya, we're there. For all the Idaho scenery, the pheasants, the mountain chuckers, even the cheap shots from buddies. Get used to it, because I don't want any pouting. Nothing can trump Pat Cudmore's favorite Idaho hunting spot. For those of you who think you have quail populations, look at the tracks. Every single one of these is a quail. About an hour before sunset, we stumble on an old farm. We think the mother load is just right here in these old abandoned yards. You got a point. Got it. Got a point up there. Oh, it's in front of me. Oh, what happened? Ready? Yep. Now things are happening all of a sudden. The guys over there at the same time shot one there. Plus, just another one. Get your gun ready, Pat. There it goes, bro. <laughs> this is turning into an unbelievable afternoon hunt. Oh, oh you got the point, double point here. Well done. Guys, stop this. Knock it off. There's another point right here. I hear it. Good shot. No one. Stop! Stop! Just stop flying. All right, this one here. And that one, bring that down. Stop! Stop! These little rascals, unbelievable. Who knows how many are in front of us? The dogs seem to know. And David Kloniger's is a gem. Dharma is a Deutsch Drothar. Age four and a half years old, this dog has a strong level of trust. Believe me, this dog finds birds and has few false points. She's a hot, she's really good. She is uh, one of the better ones I've had. So much fun. Just being out here is the best. Whoa. Oh, get it. Oh, there they go. Shoot him if you got him. Shoot it first. Right behind you. We're there. Oh, it's it's uh, satisfaction to know that we have that much of that great of a resource here. Oh, 
really, Pat? In 90 minutes, we see more quail than I have ever seen in a lifetime. You know, when you only see 200 birds and they say it's a low number. It's a wounded one. No, it's not. We suck! It was the most unbelievable quail hunt I have ever been a part of. Nice shot. And this might be the kicker of the entire trip. Listen. Yeah, we've seen a lot of birds, but we have seen more. Usually we do better than that. Locals say bird numbers are down. You've got to be kidding me. So, the Idaho secret is out. You like bird numbers? Get to Idaho now.